Hey, what's going on, friends? It is Slash X87 here, back at it again with another PC-related video today. What I'm talking about here is a $1,000 gaming PC build. Uh, what you're gonna notice in the background, though, is some Slither.io gameplay. I'm not sure if you guys really care for it, but it's there, and I figured it would be nice to switch it up, and now you get to watch a browser game, which is actually one of my favorite browser games of all time right now. It's great for killing time, and overall, Slither, if you haven't played it, I recommend it. And like I've said these past few build guides, the GPU in this video is subject to chains once Polaris and Pascal release from AMD and Nvidia. The GPU is gonna, like I said, it's gonna decrease in price as far as the 900 series and the 300 series goes, and overall the performance of Polaris and Pascal is gonna be much better than what you're gonna see here. So the price to performance spectrum is gonna change a ton when these two series of GPUs change, so just be mindful of what GPUs are currently out there and just try and get the best thing you can for your budget, but for now I have a 900 series GPU in here, so let's get into the build. Starting off with the CPU, I have the Intel Core i5-6600K. It's a 3.5 GHz unlocked quad-core processor. It's based on the Skylake architecture, so you're getting the latest architecture from Intel. It's a very good CPU, and even though Skylake isn't a huge improvement over Haswell, it is still very good, and it is a very power-efficient, good-for-overclocking architecture, and you can expect to get some great frequencies out of the CPU once you throw on the proper cooling so as far as future proofing goes it's pretty pretty nice pretty far up there uh, with that overclock ability so you can't go wrong with the Intel Core i5 6600k it's gonna support our GPU wonderfully and it is a great CPU for the money to cool our CPU I want the cooler master hyper 212 Evo it's an oldie but it's a goodie four copper heat pipes a very solid chunk of metal and a gigantic shroud of aluminum and a fan you really can't go wrong $25 on outlet PC this thing allows for some very very stable overclocking I have heard that one of the downfalls of it is that it's hard to install but once you get over that once it's in there it's gonna do a great job cooling your CPU and it's gonna allow this i5 6600k to really get up there as far as overclocking goes for the motherboard I went with an MSI Z 170 a pro ATX socket 1151 motherboard you really can't beat this thing for the money it's a full sized ATX motherboard. It has four memory slots supporting up to 64 gigabytes of DDR4. It does support RAID. It does support Crossfire. It has two SATA 6 gigabit per second ports and it does have USB 3.0. And it's made by MSI, keep in mind, so that's a pretty reputable brand as far as motherboards go. And not to mention it is a full size ATX motherboard. You can get it for $80 on Amazon with Prime shipping. You really can't beat this motherboard for the price right now. I went with 16 gigabytes, two 8 gigabyte sticks of Corsair Vengeance LPX series DDR4 clocked at 2400 megahertz. It has a very cool looking black heat shield. I really enjoy the look of this RAM and it does come in two 8 gigabyte sticks so you can take advantage of dual channel memory and you're getting 16 gigabytes of the stuff which is going to be plenty for pretty much anything you could possibly want to do on this PC. For the storage, I went with the Seagate Barracuda 2TB 3.5 inch 7200 RPM hard drive. Nowadays, it really is kind of silly to only go with 1TB when 2TB only costs $62 on Amazon right now. It's only $13 more than a 1TB hard drive and you're getting an additional terabyte. So the Seagate Barracuda 2TB hard drive is a no-brainer in this scenario. Seagate makes great hard drives and you're getting a full 7200 RPM hard drive. So really, nowadays, 2TB is pretty much a no-brainer. So can't go wrong with the Seagate Barracuda 2TB hard drive. For the most important part of a gaming PC, the GPU, I went with a GeForce GTX 980 4GB Strix video card. It's made by ASUS and it does have their very good Strix cooler on it, so you can trust this thing as far as overclocking goes. It has 4GB of VRAM, it's DG GDDR5, it supports up to 4-way SLI, which is kind of overboard, but hey, 
It is based on the Maxwell architecture, so you're getting a very power efficient card here. And for only $453 right now, you really can't go wrong. It has great ratings. It's one of the best GTX 980s out there, so can't go wrong with the ASUS GeForce GTX 980. Expect to max out pretty much any game at 1080p and to even play a lot of games at 1440p 60fps. Next up, for the case, I went with the Corsair 200R ATX mid-tower case. I always go with this thing, it looks great in my opinion, supports USB 3.0 headers, and uh, has a lot of good airflow potential and has great cable management, so as far as keeping those components cool, as far as putting a lot of fans on here, you're going to be just fine. Plenty of, sta plenty of space for additional storage and hard drives. For only $50, you're getting a very good case, and I always recommend it in my videos. For the power supply, I'm with an EVGA 750 watt 80 plus bronze certified semi-modular power supply. For only $49, you're getting 750 watts. That's a very large number. It's going to allow for a lot of upgradability in the future. It's going to allow for a good overclocking headway. And it's made by EVGA, who make very good power supplies. It's 80 plus bronze certified, so uh, it's kind of efficient, I guess. And it's semi-modular, so it's going to allow for some pretty good cable management. That's going to wrap up the build, guys. The total comes to $107. $7 over budget. Eh. It is what it is. Hey, if you want the extra $7, send me an email and I'll uh, help you out with that. But in conclusion, it's a very good budget, $1,000. You can get a lot. And be sure to use my Amazon affiliate code. Link is in the description and link to all the affiliate links to these parts is in the description. If you use the links, I get a small kickback and it helps make these uh, videos possible and building these PCs in real life and benchmarking them possible. So if that sounds interesting to you, be sure to use those links to buy these parts. And also be sure to leave a like rating and be sure to comment if you have any questions and the beautiful men and women in the Slash Think Tank will help you out. We're going to solve the world's problems. We're going to build PCs like Mad Men and uh, be sure to subscribe if you're new. I think that's going to wrap it up. So I hope you all have a great night and peace.